What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. This question is a little challenging and it's really because when you look at the question you kind of have to do some outside the box thinking and it helps to know a little bit of information that's outside the realm of the question to get it right. So it says if a person is standing at the top of an observation tower that is 1400 feet above sea level, so the tower is 1400 feet above sea level, how far is it possible to see with a telescope on a clear day? All right, so we need to figure out how far you can see. Use 3,960 miles for the radius of the Earth. So we know that we probably need the Earth here if they're giving us that. And it tells us there's 5,280 feet in one mile. It's asking us to round the answer to the nearest mile. Remember, you do your rounding at the very end. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's start by creating a diagram. Let's draw a circle to represent the Earth. So we have our circle and we'll go from the center of the circle all the way up to the top. And that we know is 3,960 miles and that is gonna be our radius for the Earth. And we know we're gonna go how many feet above that for our observation tower. We know that the observation tower is 1,400 feet above sea level. So you just go to where your radius ends, go to that spot on the Earth and go up 1,400 feet. Now, here's the deal. The question is asking, how far is it possible to see with a telescope on a clear day? And if you look at the answer choices, the answer choices are all in miles. So what we have to do is take that 1,400 feet and convert it to miles. So how do we do that? We know 5,280 feet is equal to one mile. So we do 5,280 over one is equal to 1,400 over X. Now what we can do is we can cross multiply. So we have 5,280 times X equals 1,400 times one, which is just 1,400. Then we can divide both sides by 5,280. We get X is 1,400 over 5,280, which is 0.265. So what do we know? We know that the miles for that observation tower is 0.265. Now, believe it or not, we're actually almost done here. Here's what we have to do. We want to see how far, what's the furthest point from the observation tower that this person can see. So we have the person at the top of this tower. Now, what we're going to do is just draw a line to any point on the circle. Remember, we're just making an approximation in our drawing. Now, all we have to keep in mind is that there's only one point that represents the furthest point that he can see. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a line from the top of that tower to any point on the circle. And so let's do that. Now remember, if a line is touching one point on a circle, what does it do with the center of the circle? That's a tangent line because it's only touching at one point. So it creates a 90 degree angle with this radius here of the circle. So wherever we draw this, that's going to be true. We are, without even realizing it, creating that furthest distance. So here's what happens. When you draw that other line from the radius to this tangent point, what are we creating? A 90 degree angle. And we have a specific type of triangle here. We have a right triangle. And we know that this radius here is 3,960. So guess what? We're almost done. It's asking how far he can see. So now we just do Pythagorean theorem to find out that length. So all we have here is 3,960 is one of our legs. X is this missing leg. And then 3,960 plus 0.265 is our hypotenuse. All right, so we have x squared plus 3960 squared equals 3960.265 squared. So now what we're gonna do is just work through this. So we need to do 3960 squared and we need to do 3960.265 squared. So on the left, we have 15,681,600. That's 3960 squared. On the right side, we have 15,683,698.87. Listen, so the new PSAT, the new SAT, and the ACT, sometimes what's gonna happen is you're gonna see numbers that are longer, right? And they just put that there to make it seem like the question's a lot more complicated than it is. Remember, these are still just numbers. Just because they're longer, you're dealing with decimals, it doesn't change the math steps, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna subtract 15,681,600 from both sides, and then what we're left with is on the left we have x squared, on the right we have 2098.87. Now what do we do? Square root both sides, and we have x is 45.8. And what unit is this in? Remember, what we did at the very beginning is we took our feet for the observation tower and turned it into miles. Everything from that point has been in miles, so our answer here is in miles. The question is telling us to round to the nearest mile, so if we look at the answer choices, 45.8, the closest mile would be 46, right? We gotta round up because it's bigger than 0.5. That's answer choice E. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.